Hi, I'm Audrey Vidalgo and I will explain briefly the tennis rocket theory. Now, look at the word twist the control made before it fell out of my hand. It is the most visual way to appreciate the tennis rocket theorem. Okay, I admit it doesn't look so interesting, but don't judge a book by its cover. First, let's see what is the tennis rocket theorem. The tennis rocket theorem, or intermate axis theorem, or the of effect, is based on array behavior in turning asymmetric objects that have three main axes. This phenomenon was discovered in 1985 during the Soyuz T-13 mission, where the astronaut Vladimir Davinikov observed that an asymmetric object that rotates on itself in all gravity situations exponentially exhibit a 180 degrees turns in the direction of the turn, completely turning around apparently for no reason. For a few years, the Russian government kept this discovery secret for the belief that one day the Earth will also have a sudden 180 degrees turn. Now that you know a little about the story, it's time to do a small experiment to demonstrate this effect. The experiment will consist of rotating objects around their intermediate axis and recording these turns in a slow motion. Subsequently, record the objects, its dimensions, and the result of the rotation, the initial position versus the final position in a table. That is, whether it performed the sitting effect or not. In this way, we can describe what happens when an object rotates around its determined axis. At the end, the results will be supported with the theoretical framework. In the experiment, we will have as a dependent variable the form that the rotation of the object presents, while the independent variable will be objects with different measures that have the three main axes of rotations. In this case, I used a phone a TV control, a book, a calculator, and a top of a topper. Well, and these were the results. We can see that in all the objects, we can appreciate the Daminikov effect. Well, now it's time to talk about the theory. While I am explaining this, there will be an animation in the background which represents a timely manner the effect we are studying. Ok, let's start. We could quickly say that this sudden turn is due to the search for the conservation of angular momentum, so I'll start explaining what the angular momentum is. Angular momentum is a physical quantity that represents the amount of rotational movement that an object has. In the specific case of objects that revolve around an axis, angular momentum is the resistance that this object presents to the change in the angular velocity. It is a vector magnitude, so it must have a magnitude and a direction, and the formula to calculate it is mass by tangential speed by radius of movement by sin of the angle. Now we have said that the sudden rotation was due to the conservation of the angular momentum. It means that if you want to change the plane where the object is rotating, you have to change the direction of the axis. This will only happen if an external force is applied to the rotating object, producing a torque that varies the angular momentum. I will continue saying that another necessary condition for this strange phenomenon of the tennis racket to occur is that the body to rotate has three different moments of inertia. This will cause that when turning the object on the largest or smaller axis, it will maintain a stable rotation. On the other hand, if it rotates around the intermediate axis, 
its rotation will be unstable, which means that it will go out of balance and eventually the body will make a sharp 180 degrees turn in order to perseverate angular momentum, but the movement will continue to be unstable, so the phenomenon will repeat until the movement stops. Considering these two concepts, moment of inertia and angular momentum, we could describe and explain the tennis racket theory, so we can understand what is happening while we are launching these objects.